YouTube Void Friends and Family to Pren here with another video. This one I want to focus uh, a little bit for the newer players on how to upgrade your items. Um, in specific, the most efficient way, in my opinion, to upgrade your items. So, I mean, you know, new players, they're going to uh, see a bunch of screenshots of all these ships with all this gold stuff on it. And, oh, it it's very daunting to... Uh, imagine the process and timeline on how to get all this to gold and mark 15 and all that stuff um it does take time but there is a good way to go about it and not waste a whole bunch of resources and time doing so so what i like to use is our phoenix upgrade tokens so if we go to our our inventory nope research and development all right, you'll see, like, you might already have a bunch of these things, um, tech upgrades. Um, they're nice, but they are not efficient to upgrade with. Um, what we're going to be focusing on is the Phoenix tech upgrades. Um, we're also going to be focused on um, the accelerated uh, boost here and accelerated here. So let's go into it. So you get these from opening Phoenix boxes. Now, these are not, you know, your keyed boxes, like Infinity boxes, stuff like that. These are Phoenix boxes. So, we can find those um, down in the Dilithium store. We go up to special items here, and these are what you're looking for. Um, again, it, it's a little pricey. I get it, but there is a lot of advantages to opening these. So, let's buy a pack of 10, you know, uh, yep, there we go. Just be careful uh, if you're trying to buy 10. That's uh, a lot of dilithium there. Um, I do buy them in bulk a lot. I don't normally just buy one stack of 10 here. I usually buy about four or five, um, depending on you know how much dilithium I have. Um, I always have a surplus of it. So, all right, we're just going to buy 10 of these and we'll go through and we'll see why they're so good. So, especially for newer players, there's tons of good gear in here. So we could use these and we get these tokens here, all right? And we just keep using them and using them. I'm surprised I didn't pop an epic. I actually have three epic tokens that I really have no use for. I wish I could give them away, but they are bound to account. So we got one ultra, one very, and one rare. All right, let's open up our store here. So. If you look, there's tons and tons of good stuff. Obviously, there's great ships here. Um, the ones that I needed for their traits, I pretty much already got. Um, I might get one other I've been eyeing. But, um, again, really good stuff in here. Um, especially when you get down here, or, yeah, right here. Right, there's a bunch of, uh, like, Red Mare Capacitor. That's a staple in my build. Uh, some duty officers here, especially this guy. Um yeah you definitely have some really great uh gear here so what i normally do being that i have you know all the gear all the officers that i really want unless i go and i start playing around with a build um, i'll break all these tokens down now you could trade them so one ultra rare will give you two very rares and we want to trickle all the way down until we get here so let's do that let's break down these tokens one there and i still had some in inventory obviously so all right so now we can get some phoenix upgrade tokens uh again i really enjoy these these are the most efficient way i hope you guys see it the same as me all right so let's go to our inventory and let's go to upgrade item all right we will go down here we're going to upgrade this oblivion phaser array um, really great weapon, by the way. Um, don't mind upgrading this as an example because um, uh, I could get this to Mark 15 and everything, and I'm actually going to give this away. Um, all right, so there are different ways to go about this. Um, obviously, if you're not using Phoenix uh, token or Phoenix upgrades, um, you could use these, but there's a big, big difference in using these versus that. So let's just do that. Let's put on a basic beam upgrade. Now, what you want to do, all right, is primarily you want to level it first, the item you're upgrading. 
So you want to get it from Mark 12 to Mark 15. Then you want to actually improve the quality of it, meaning going from rare to very rare, ultra rare, epic. So by doing this, all right, you have to fill this tech bar here, right? And you'll see the chance go up. But using these tech upgrades, if you look down at the bottom, there is a dilithium cost of 700. Now I know we just spent 40,000 on those boxes and everything, but if you really add it up, you're, you're going to see the difference here. You're only getting a 3% increase. Now you have to max out this technology points bar in order for it to become uh, the next number level, so 12 to 13. It's going to take a lot of these and it's not going to feel good on that dilithium uh, purse of yours. Now let's keep an eye on that 3% and switch over to our Phoenix upgrades. A huge, huge boost. So again, you're going to go through these and there is a chance game as far as getting the quality of the item improved. Um, we'll go into that as we uh, progress in the upgrade. All right, so over here, this is completely optional. I encourage you to take full advantage of it, especially if you have something you can put there. So we have two different um, boosts here. We have a tech boost and a research boost. Now, again, we want to number level, all right, the, this item first. So we want to get it from 12 to 15. So we would use our technology boost first. After that, we could focus on the chance. So every level you go up, your chance builds up for it to become the next quality, going from rare to very rare. Um, as you go through the level and you now go from 12 to 13, this resets back down to zero. All right. So that's why it's so important, especially you know as you progress in leveling this, it's going to get harder and harder. All right. So let's get on with it. All right. Technology boost, and that's a huge boost there, 90% apply the upgrade and if you look it's at five percent we might be able to pop it who knows we did not all right but it went from 12 to 13 so we're good there all right and we will continue to put on the tech boost and we will continue until we are at mark 15. all right now that we are at mark 15 unfortunately we did not get to our uh ultra rare or epic for that matter um, but now we're at the maximum level 15. Um, now this will, no matter how many times you go through your tech points here, it will not level up, meaning it won't go to 16. There's no such thing. Your chance will not go back down to zero. So let's take a look at that. So I'm going to start using our research boost here. And let's say, womp womp. All right. But. It got through the tech points, but the chance is still there. It didn't reset. So I don't have many of these. By the way, you could buy um, these off the exchange. You can also get them from opening lock boxes um, as a additional uh, like gear item. Um, they are a little expensive. Um, if you find that there's a huge price difference, um, obviously I would um, capitalize on that and buy as many of these as you can. Again, uh, I've gone through probably, in the years I've been playing, thousands of these, if anything. Yeah, it had to have been in the thousands. Absolutely. Um, you know, tons of uh, builds, tons of different loadouts. So, All right, so we're going to continue on with our research boosts. We're going to try and build this up. Now, I have had this go all the way. Now, I don't want to discourage anyone, but I have seen this go all the way up to, like, 60% and click it and it's still building it it's very very frustrating I don't know the algorithm that cryptic uses um, I doubt it's just a you know chance kind of deal like I, I don't know something else is going on because 60% in order to build up to that you've gone through tons of uh, maxing out your tech points all right let's get on with it still nothing all right Still nothing. Still. Now, once you get past like 20, I probably should have did this. Uh, once you get past 20, 
I usually switch back to tech boost because now you just want to level this up to quickly get there and use up your chance. So let's do that. And there it is. All right, so the rarity has increased. We're now ultra rare. We could claim it and our next up is our epic. All right, so we're going to use up the last remaining bit of this. And as you can see, it's much harder to get that chance. So, all right. So we used up all those, so now we're just going to burn through these, and oh, it's going to be painful, but hopefully it pops. There it is. All right, so we got our epic now. All right, again, I find this to be the most efficient way rather than dealing with others. They, there are other uh, tech upgrades out there, obviously. Um, you know, upgrade weekends take full on advantage of that. Um, those give boosts and everything, um, you know, yeah, I, that's pretty much it. Now, as far as, um, you know, what you can do after this, obviously you can re-engineer it. Um, you go over here and you can play with all the, um, different, uh, procs it has, stuff like that. Uh, other videos have covered this, obviously you want damage for your attack players, crit D for your science, so on. So I'll let you guys watch those videos, but... I hope this helps somebody somewhere, as always. Um, if you liked it, hit the like button, or subscribe, all that good stuff. Alright guys, I will see you next time.